and I am Kitty Hollywood. We're not going to do a favourite frock today. We are going to do a favourite piece of destruction. This particular piece of destruction comes from MGM's Gone with the Wind and we're going to cover the burning of Atlanta. Now, Gone with the Wind was produced by David O. Selznick and before the set was properly organised, the script, the actors, the cast, the costumes, he knew that he was going to have to have some really big set pieces for this film. One of them in particular was the burning of Atlanta. Now, with no CG available at the time, really the only way to get a huge inferno was to burn a whole heap of stuff down. Now, fortunately, they wanted to build some very large sets for the Atlanta Railway Station, for Tara, and there were a number of old sets in the way. What better way to get rid of them than to burn them, burn them all! So, at the time, Gone with the Wind was going to be filmed in Technicolor, and Technicolor only had seven cameras. At all. That's it. So the first available date that they were able to get all seven cameras on their production at once was the 10th of December 1938. The whole thing was planned in immense detail. Uh, they built a miniature so that they could work out where all the seven cameras were going to go and then where they were going to be moved to and moved to so that they could maximise their time that they had with this burning set and how they were going to handle a horse and a wagon and a couple of stunt doubles in the middle of all of this. It was extremely important that this entire fire be under control at all times because the MGM studios were very very close to the suburbs. So the Culver City Fire Department and the Los Angeles Fire Department were deployed and the studio was surrounded on all sides by fire trucks and there was firefighting equipment and insurance and they had everything. When you watch the film you might notice there are a couple of really key pieces of burning, uh, they used some of the sets from Cecil B. DeMille's King of Kings and also from the original King Kong. So have a look out for those, you might just tap in to see them topple into the flames. In order to make the fire happen properly, it wasn't just so much of, oh, <coughs> there's the fire. They needed to really be able to control it, so there was this incredibly elaborate double set of pipes running through the entire set piece. One of the pipes contained a mixture of coal oil and kerosene and the other much larger set of pipes contained water. So David O. Selznick and Ray Clune, the production manager, were incredibly nervous about the whole thing. Selznick was about to pull the plug but goodness knows how long it was going to be before they could get all seven cameras together again and it happened. Selznick had invited various friends and family Come and watch the burning! And he was waiting for his brother to arrive, his brother Myron, who was a talent agent. He was about 45 minutes late. He arrived with two other people. Selznick said, get over there and we're going to set fire to the whole thing. It happened. There were um, wire points along there that sparks would, were going to ignite, so it would pop off in a number of different places at once. And then suddenly, the whole fire shot into the air. Oh my god! and half of Culver City rang the fire department and said, oh my god, MGM's burning down! Actually, Dove Silsnick was quite happy to hear that, pretty chuffed. The whole thing went really beautifully. Uh, the wagon lost a wheel at one point in time and things had to slow down, but all in all, it was incredibly smooth. Went for about six or seven hours, the burning. But the most hideously important thing of all that happened that evening was during a quiet moment, Myron Selznick came up and tapped his brother on the shoulder and said, David, and David said, Bleh. and he said, David, here's your scarlet. The two people Myron Selznick had brought with him that evening were Laurence Olivier and Vivian Lee. David O. Selznick turned and saw Vivian Lee's face lit beautifully by the flames of the burning of Atlanta. If you don't know what happened next, you need to see Gone with the Wind.